Let us uh, see a uh, application that is a couple of research papers in uh, using NLP. Uh, we are doing it for last few weeks. So, let us do a one research paper this week. So, uh, for automated uh, grading uh, there is a paper from uh, James C. Lester's group. Um, it is accessing elementary students science competency with test antics. Let us look at this paper is 2014. So, I just tried to pick up a paper which is a bit old so that uh, we can see the automated grading system using bag of words approach. So, let us look at this paper uh, assessing elementary students science competency with test analytics. Um, uh, I request you to go ahead and read the paper. Uh, it has very uh, interesting things called uh, right eval. Um, it is just a uh, word they use for this particular uh, grading systems. So, there are 9 students uh, answer. Um, how can you make the, make the 2 bulbs in a serious circuit brighter? So, the student has answered uh, uh, answers here and uh, the grading also then probably correct, incorrect, uh, correct. Okay. So, average, poor, uh, better, good, something like that. So, they have uh, sentences. So, from these sentences they form the uh, set of dictionary from that they can able to identify uh, the grading systems. So, yeah, let us go and see. So, it is not simply that uh, grading system only based on the bag of word approach what they did they out of from com combination for example, uh, they find the similarity scores of answers between the correct answer and uh, the given answer by the student. Okay. Uh, the student answer and the, uh, the human graded answer um, is compared to find the similarities are co correct answers, partially correct, incorrect. Uh, the statistics is used and also the students answers uh, from the bag of word and, uh, and the reference answers everything has been used to create into a classifier uh, that classifier grades the output. So, it is the basic uh, basic approach is what we saw that in a bag of words approach with uh, 100 students writing essay you create a big uh, dictionary and uh, use uh, those dictionary to create a feature set and uh, you are grading as a label and you train the system. Similar, uh, but uh, it also uses the similarity syntaxes and other indexes what we saw in this tool, this week's course. So, check this video and uh, they used Veka, they used Decentry, uh, check this video and uh, try to understand uh, this paper. Hope you will be able to do that. Uh, that's, that's all I wanted to tell you about. The, there is also another paper uh, on a MOOC data analytics. So, it is based on students response to the forums uh, in the MOOC. Uh, we were seeing uh, in the last weeks, uh, uh, we constructed features based on the interaction between the forum like uh, how many times they answered, how many times uh, they apported, how many active uh, uh, actions. These uh, particular people consider that plus uh, the content they are writing, what are they writing. Okay? So, that is where the NLP is more uh, interesting here, not just the features you can extract, also the content you are writing also part of it. So, check this paper, I am not going to look at this paper, uh, it is interesting paper, check this paper, um, it is from the LAC uh, 2016, check this. Given this knowledge of uh, basic concepts of NLP and the bag of words or similarity or n-gram all this information, can you, um, can you think of a two applications of NLP in uh, learning environments? Uh, you might have had a question why we are talking about NLP in uh, learning analytics. Uh, that one week course I just wanted to introduce what is NLP because it is very very important to understand the content analytics. Can you think of um, two applications of NLP in learning analytics and write it down? Once you write it down please touch on the video to continue. So, uh, I just listed very few. Uh, this is based on uh, my interaction with uh, some of the students and other participants when I go out and present this talk about NLP uh, or test analytics to the students or other participants. And uh, these are the answers, there are a lot of more answers can be possible. Um, like a quality assessment of the content, uh, you can check whether the content is really quality or not. Uh, now, you know part of speech, you know the identifiers, whether the sentence is written correctly or not, whether the sentence has a proper sentence, uh, the quality of writing, uh, the spelling mistakes, everything can be automatically identified. And uh, that is interesting. And uh, intelligent tutoring systems uh, can adapt based on the text uh, input feedback from the students. Till now I was talking about intelligent tutoring systems can adapt feedback and content based on um, based on the students interaction behavior, the clicks or uh, their responses and the like uh, in the assessment. 
but they are writing a feedback, they are writing in forum that can be also used to provide a content feedback that is very interesting but nobody has done it, it is interesting one. Interesting suggestion by the one of the participants uh, where I presented this. And assistive systems for report generation that is very important and you can also use this to detect plagiarism and exactly that was happening in a plagiarism detects like, detectors like uh, turn it in all the existing plagiarism detection softwares use uh, natural language processing. And uh, information extraction for education, uh, it has not been done quietly, uh, not uh, very popular, uh, extracting the information of our education uh, context. IE has been done for movie industries, uh, other industries, banking, uh, marketing, all these things. But for uh, education, you might be able to create a um, concept map of concepts you are teaching in your education, your uh, domain or in your topic, all these things can be done automatically and that is also interesting to see. Very interesting uh, application areas of NLP, most of them are still in um, infant level, infancy level. Okay. So, go ahead and try if you are interested in NLP and uh, learning environment. So, in this video, so what is NLP application, but this week we saw test analytics and uh, why NLP is important for education. Thank you.